Sergio Perez has been a household name in F1 for the past 10 years. His incredible consistency, tyre management, and overall wholesome demeanour make him one of the most likeable drivers on the whole grid. However, in 10 years of F1, Sergio hasn't really been able to challenge for a world championship. His nickname, King of the Midfield, proves that despite his undoubted talent, he's never been able to compete with the top teams and really give himself a shot at the title. His biggest opportunity to do so came in 2013 when he joined McLaren replacing Lewis Hamilton. But things didn't exactly go to plan for Sergio, not being able to score a single podium for the third place constructor of the prior season. This was Perez's chance at a top team, and ultimately, he wasn't able to give McLaren a reason as to why they should keep him. At the end of 2013, he was replaced by Kevin Magnussen. Although Perez's McLaren stint was rather disappointing, I think it was because of this that he's become the driver he is today. Eight years later, and he's finally got a chance to prove himself with one of the best teams, Red Bull. Red Bull this season have arguably had the best car on the grid. Well, the best car for Max Verstappen. You see, Max Max has an incredibly unique driving style. This is one of the reasons his teammates over the past few seasons have really struggled to compete with him. Pierre Gasly and Alex Albon both endured tough spells in the Red Bull second seat, unable to adapt to the difficult setup of the Red Bull car. However, there's a big difference between these drivers and Sergio Perez. Perez is a lot more experienced. Although difficult to adapt to, Sergio has begun to make this car work for him in the 2021 season. Winning in Azerbaijan and achieving four podiums so far this season, he's beginning to settle into Red Bull and seems to be getting quicker every race. But next season, every Everything will change. New regulations means new cars, almost like a reset for the whole grid. And Perez has come out and said that Red Bull will be giving him a car that will suit him next season. This will be huge for Perez's title hopes. At an undoubted top team with a car suited to him, this will be Perez's best chance at a world title. He's also very confident that he can do so, stating, I want to become a world champion. It is my dream and I want to do it with Red Bull and I think next year I really can achieve it. Only a small percentage of people watching this video are actually subscribed, so if you like what you see, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Enjoy the video. So although he will hopefully be given the machinery to compete for the title, what makes Perez a world champion driver? Firstly, he has incredible consistency. Last season, he finished in the points in every race he finished and was instrumental in racing points fourth place constructors finish, finishing fourth in the drivers championship behind only Hamilton, Bottas and Verstappen. Secondly, his tyre management is second to none. Okay, maybe Lewis Hamilton. But Perez really knows how to make those Pirelli tyres last as long as they can. With strategy becoming more and more important for winning races, stretching those tyres as long as possible is key for success. These factors are crucial for a world champion. Even in a race where things aren't going your way, a world champion can remain calm and composed and finish the race with decent points. Perez is also extremely experienced. 2022 will be his 12th season in F1. Experience and consistency are key in making a world champion. But winning the tyres means beating everyone else on the grid, and he'll have some tough competition. Max Verstappen, arguably the best in the sport right now, will have some serious momentum after this season, regardless of where he finishes in the Drivers' Championship. Lewis Hamilton will also be tough to beat, as always. George Russell will be desperate to perform at Mercedes as well. McLaren and Ferrari should also be fierce opposition next season. In fact, I think next season could be one of the hottest title fights we've seen for some time. So can Perez win the World Championship? Well, it'll be tougher than ever, but I do think Perez has what it takes to become the 20 2022 F1 World Champion.